All right, what's going on YouTube? And we're, I'm finally back home. I went to um, Georgia to get my part. Got in there, got an ECU. Okay, Mega Square ECU. Show y'all, show y'all real quick. Just an ECU. Um, so what I'm gonna do is install it today. First, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna disconnect the battery. I'm pretty sure I gotta do is just make the negative, but I'm just gonna re like this can't put the positive and the negative, just in case. I don't know, like I'm dumb. And then on a this is the NB Miata, so the the, the um <clears throat> the ECU's up here. You can see it's a bunch of wires plugged into it. So for my sake, I'm gonna take the seat out so I have more room to work on under there because it's like this car's tight. So I'll get back to you when I get that disconnected, get the AC disconnected and everything else. Okay, well, <laughs> it's been like six hours since I made that last clip <laughs> and I forgot, I, I just totally forgot to make a video. <laughs> I, mean, I was just so focused getting done. So far I got the car running one time and it's killed itself because this is my fault. Don't mind the hair, it's messy. So um, after, so first of all, it took for like thirty. Took me like thirty minutes to get the ECU out, the original one. Um, there's two. There's three um clips. Take three clips out. Is that you know, wiggle it back and forth? I wish I knew that before, cause it was. I'm trying to pull it out, yank it out. Won't work. But yeah, they wiggle it back and forth. And then um, there's a, a boat that or a nut that you can easily see. And there's a nut that's hidden. Have fun trying. Try to have fun and get that one. And um. <sighs> Get the vacuum line, cut it. I'll, I'll just I'll show y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow I got school tomorrow. Hopefully I'm, I might just see if I can skip. I probably can't. Um, there's a oh, what's called. So there, you got there's a there's a nipple right there on the intake manifold that you put the vacuum. There's a vacuum line that comes with it. Put the vacuum line on. Go and run it around through there. There's just like a rubber sink. Make a slice in it. Run it through there <coughs> in the driver side. Reach in there, grab the vacuum line, put it in the ECU, plug the laptop up. I already had the laptop plug in there. I made a TikTok about that. It was cool. Like, the you, you press the throttle, it's like shoot up. It's pretty cool to see that. And, but I wish I got a core that's longer because it's like very, I'm like reaching all the way down there. But um, I'll show y'all tomorrow. Hopefully, it's not raining because it started raining on us. So I had to get the top up because I had the top down cause so it's easier to work on the car. Um, So far, it's, if you know what you're doing, it's easy. I wish I knew I was doing it before. But it took us a long time. And also you have to zip tie the, the ECU up there. If you know what you're doing, reroute it. Which I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just going to keep it there. So you have to zip tie like, back where the original one was. You can't put it in the brackets. Unless you want to drill holes in it and ruin your $1,000 ECU. Anyways. um, So tomorrow, also tomorrow. So you got, oh, so this is what happened. So I started the car up without checking the timing first. So, so you're supposed to take the chime, check the timing on the... Um, on the spark first spark plug spark plug wire check the timing make sure it runs good well do um, some of the on instructions some of the steps below that it says go on the the tuner studio and change the timing to 10 10.0 not 20 because it's on 20 like automatically for some reason so i start the car up it's on 20 timing now, that's terrible timing for the car so i put it and then I, it would kill itself and it started knocking so i got scared at first so then i um Put it, I, I've seen that mistake, and I put that 10, so put that 10 before you do anything else. Tomorrow, we're, so we're going to take the color and take off, see the timing, make sure the timing is good, and um, start a car up. Hopefully it works perfectly. And then I'll do that, put the ECU, mount the ECU up because it's not mounted. Um, I also can take the, um, the air flow meter off, which they're saying not to because it's like performance. I'm, I'm just going to take it off, shorten the color type. Um, what else? Um, that's it. It's pretty cool too. Tuner Studios, they have a thing that you can buy and make it where you can tune your own car and they teach you how to tune it. I'm not doing that. I mean, I probably will do that anyways, but, um, I might have to take it to the tuning shop and they have them tune it, down tune it, make sure that's right. But, um, yeah, so far it's going good. It took me forever to figure out because I'm just a little kid and I don't know what I'm doing. So, get back to tomorrow. What is going on? It's like 107 degrees outside. It's like 90 degrees. Um, got the meal here. Still haven't been not had the ECU in yet. I haven't made this video in a long time. This is two, three days since I made that last 
post seats out of the car. ECU is hanging in the floor. Um, it's so hot out here, and now we got to um change out. We're changing out the um crank position sensor, which is right here. We got a new one. Got to get a new one, by the way. It was like ninety dollars. Probably can get one cheaper somewhere else. But um, I almost switched the camera, but I jacked the car up a quick because I cannot get from the top because it's like so hard to line up with it. So I'm gonna try to get from the bottom. Position. So you see that hole right there under like this? There's a hole right here. I can kind of see it right there. Where my finger's at. There's a hole right there, and um, that's where the crank position goes up to. It lines up right there at angle. This is I don't know where this one to. I I took this one out to see it better, but like. So, hold on, let me show you. So it goes in there like an angle like that. You put it under the belt. And it goes behind the pulley. And it's like so hard to line up. 